Simple Conversations in English number 7 Talking about going on a trip So, are you all packed? I am. And before you ask, I've weighed my suitcase and it's under the limit. That's good. I had to sit on mine to close it. I've booked the taxi for 5.30 a.m. But the flight isn't until 8.30. I know, but we need to be at the airport at 6.30. OK. I should be ready. You mean you will be ready? OK, I will be ready. But can you give me a call about 5 a.m., just in case? OK. And don't forget to put your passport in your bag. Talking about going for a walk. That was such a nice walk we had on Saturday. Yes, it was. The countryside around here is really pretty. We walked for miles. I never walk that far usually. Nor me. The furthest I usually walk is around the local park. The view from the top of the hill was amazing. We were so high up, we were almost amongst the clouds. I took a great photo of the river winding through the valley. I've got a nice one of that huge oak tree. All that fresh air made me fall asleep when I got home. My favourite bit was walking through the long grass. Mine was eating blackberries from the bush. The bit I didn't like was scraping mud from my boots afterwards. Talking about moving home. I've got a date for my move next Monday. So soon. I know. I'm starting to feel quite stressed. Let me know if I can do anything to help. Thank you. I might need help on the day. No problem. Have you got a removal van sorted out? I got some quotes yesterday. I just need to choose one of them. What about packing? I haven't done any yet. I need to get some packing boxes. What else do you have to do before you move? I need to contact my fuel supplier and my broadband supplier. I guess everything else can wait until I've moved in. Well, that all sounds manageable. You'll cope. Talking about time. What day is it today? It's Monday. How could you forget? I came back from Australia yesterday. Ah, that explains it. Jet lag. How long were you there? Six weeks. I went in January and it's March now. So you missed the worst part of the winter here? Yes, it was lovely and warm in Australia. I spent hours on the beach every day. Lucky you. During February, I worked outside in the cold. I wouldn't want to be a gardener at this time of the year. To be honest, I love every minute. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.